What is up team? In this video, we're gonna be having a look at some market updates, CPI inflation that happened yesterday. We're gonna be having a look at the Shanghai upgrade and see where this market can potentially go in the near future. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, turn those notification bells on so you guys never miss a video. Let's dive in straight into the CPI inflation numbers that happened yesterday and how can this be good for the market. So we can see right here the inflation numbers printed at 5% yesterday and we know that last month the inflation number CPI reports printed at 6%. Something in my opinion is a little bit off. There's a reason why people call this CPI and not CPI but we're gonna have to see where this goes on especially with the printing that the US government has been doing uh, recently. I doubt that it's really 5% and if it is 5% I wouldn't be surprised if the next CPI numbers which should be in April or in May 10th should be higher than 5% in my opinion. So that's that. But overall, we did see a good positive reaction from the market. Um, overall, I mean, the market is currently in an uptrend, even though yesterday after the CPI numbers, we actually kind of dumped. But right now, we're just consolidating Ethereum. I mean, Bitcoin right now is currently between a resistance and a support region in between that very, very important resistance level. And in my opinion, in order for us to really see that bull market, that bull trend, the altcoin season happen, we would need to see essentially uh, Bitcoin go and close above $32,000. So that's what's happening right now on Bitcoin. Let's have a look at the Shanghai report real quick shanghai ethereum shanghai upgrade is complete starting new era of staking withdrawal so ethereum right now is currently sitting at um 19,982 okay so 1,982 now a lot of people thought that ethereum would actually dump because of the shanghai upgrade now what does that mean a lot of people who stake back in 2020 in the beacon chain can actually unstake their ethereum now so a lot of people thought there was going to be a lot of sell pressure and guess what's happening ethereum is actually exploding three percent nearing two thousand dollars and literally in a, in a long time so ethereum actually hasn't been this high since july guys so almost a year ethereum hasn't been this high and if we essentially explode and we continue to go up to 2200 this is going to be the first time in over a year since ethereum uh, reaches this all-time high and as you guys can see ethereum has been in a nice little uptrend but i wouldn't wouldn't be too hyped right here yet because it seems like ethereum is now we know rising wedges are usually slightly bearish usually 70 percent of the time we essentially break to the downside and come back and retest this uh, where essentially it started which is is right here 1060 but of course if we break to the upside which is a 30 percent chance then the chances of us exploding is um still low but we're gonna have to see what happens overall i mean ethereum still has like 30 percent to the upside 70 percent to the downside we do have some resistance right here and resistance right here so of course this is all a conflict right here and we're gonna have to see what happens in the near future and if we're gonna get rejected now if we have a look at the rsi we can see the rsi is also peaking at the overbought region now we know every time we're at the 70 region that means we're overbought investors are gonna be looking to sell we peaked right here guess what happened we we came to the downside went a little bit to the upside started to become overbought but we weren't completely overbought but guess what happened investors essentially rejected that started to consolidate starting to go up and now we're reaching that overbought region so it's going to be interesting to see where ethereum goes and where this market goes in the near future and that's about it if you guys like this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next video